Okie dokie fam, I am in this windy cove here, shallow water. Looks like all the lily pads are dying, but it's super shallow. I'm gonna have to take off my um, Mirage Drive in a second. But today I am sawing a popper, sort of know your popper. Look at this, this tiny micro popper. It weighs very light. I think it might be three grams, uh, maybe 3.5, something like that. I'll just leave the overlay of the model number and the weight specs below. You know, Surinoya, it's interesting because they use all your stuff. They, they do all their stuff in uh, serial numbers and it just makes stuff so difficult to remember, especially if you only use it uh, one time. But I am using my casting Zephyr. And by the way, guys, I am using the 1.68 meter version of this rod. I just saw an AliExpress that they're gonna have a 1.8 meter one, so I'm kind of excited. I may get one of those. You guys leave me a comment below if you guys want to see me get that rod. And yeah, man, there's a helicopter right above me. So loud. Hold up. Not sure where that guy's going, but anyway, I had the casking Zephyr combo like I was talking to you guys about. I got the Sword Noyer their line, which I don't like. I'm I'm getting ready to get rid of it. I pulled out a lot of line already and still have a lot of memory on it. It's thinner than American line. It's interesting because uh, my suffix four pound test line. Well, this six pound test line, their lowest line, and it is the thinnest one. But it has it just has so much memory. So uh, yeah, Jimbo's gonna probably up his game and go with higher end line very soon. Uh, you know, Jimbo's always cheap. Jimbo may have to go use up all his line before he go do that. But yeah, this is a popper lure. I haven't used a popper since a kid. It's so interesting. And I did find a popper last time. I found a, 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 a whole rod and reel setup, to be quite honest. Uh, oh, here it goes. You saw that? It just hit me. But yeah, I got a rod and reel combo with a popper. Oh yeah, got him. And uh, yeah, I was gonna use that popper, but I forgot where I put it at. So I pulled out my Surinoya micro popper, which is even smaller than the, the Rebel. I believe it was a Re Rebel. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at this micro, micro pickerel hitting this, this guy here. All right, well, off he goes. We gotta make a nice episode here. Hopefully I don't get a lot of stuff hung up here. I'm gonna have to use back my stick bait because that's the other video I was doing my trip here. Like I was literally paddling up to this, this cove to make an episode here and I made an episode itself paddling up to here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, hopefully this popper do okay. If not, I'm gonna swap back to maybe another stick bait. But you know, this whole episode, I'm trying to do a popper video. So let's go. All right, so I am like small pumping. I just wanna get into some spots. That's the main spot over there, but I want to work this spot right here. The wind looks like it's flowing to this, this cove area. And it makes casting so much easier. It's so shallow that it doesn't matter where I cast. I, but uh, when I was at the main river channel, they're like mainly on the side. But right now, you guys see right here, see those lily pads? Still kind of there. Yeah, this thing pops not bad. I've put a loop knob, by the way, just in case it, need, it could walk. And it looks like it can walk a little bit, so it's, it's, it's interesting. So let me just put it on the side so you guys see it. Yeah, see, it ends up on a, one, of, one of the sides, so that, that's pretty neat. Oh no, that's so bad. I mean, it's a great cast for me, but I just don't like putting treble hooks too close to those stuff. Ooh. All right, got out of the way. But yeah, I, I don't think I need to cast that close to the shorelines, risk it all. I'm like a fast walker because big girls they love these fast stuff and uh when i was walking dog earlier the stick bait they just went after the fast so that's why i'm not even going slow but i could slow it down just like that pop wait do a long cup pull wow i am surprised a small little thing could make this big big pop a lot of Splitter splatter. All right. I guess you guys could use this as a review too. So let me bring it up closer for you guys. So you guys can actually see that. Oh yeah, too much Jimbo, too much. Let's do it one more time. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Got him. 
<laughs> Gotta be the smallest pickerel, but I'll take it. It could be my red fin. And it's not my red fin in. Oh my gosh, I... This is gonna be a nightmare, boys and girls. Look at this. This is probably the worst hookup in history. I mean, he took the whole popper and, uh, all right, it came out a little bit. So Jimbo needs to uh, take his time and uh, unhook him. This is why I like single hooks, boys and girls. Like, how the heck do you even do this? All right, guys, what's your favorite Michael Popper for BFS fishing? Or, if you guys don't BFS, oh, what the heck was that? Yeah, there's some fish in front of me. I think my kayak is spooking them. But yeah, what's your, in general, right? What's your favorite Popper? Leave it in the comments below. All right, since I'm facing this way, let's see if there's anything here. You see that? You see that? He just blew up right on it. Yeah, this is why I want to do my stick bait video here. But as I was paddling up here, uh, I already finished the episode by catching so many pickerels. But man, this guy is feisty. I might have to put it back on because I am not too happy dealing with the pickles with uh, these uh, treble hooks. I guess I may switch to single hooks all in the future, but uh, these micro, micro um, poppers, right? If you put too heavy a hooks, it's not right balance. What happened is that it's just gonna sink. Not gonna pop right, nothing's gonna happen right. So there you go, got him. Back into water you go, peace out. Oh. Right behind me. He's still right behind me. Got him. <laughs> Smallest one of the day, maybe? Nope. But yeah. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Oh, shook, shook off. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But hopefully his draw is not torn up. Something to the right. I know he's gonna lurk any closer. <laughs> I told you, I told you. Watch it come out from the, the shallows. It didn't make any like strong ripples. It was very subtle. I just saw him come stalk out very slowly and there he goes another dinky pickerel but I could do this all day actually I changed my mind I don't want to do this all day with the uh, the popper because look at that he just bit that and he twirled a few times and he hooked himself again upper and lower jaw that sucks but that's why I have tools like this help push it down a little bit uh, did it help? Yes, I got the bottom one off. And uh, I just <laughs> stupidly, oh, got it, got it, oh, 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 I got it. Oh yeah, thought I got it. All right, off he goes. Oh yeah, he bit both treble hooks. And when I set the hook, one hook hit him, but when he uh, flopped around like that, second hook hit him. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that, he darted all the way down there. That's so quick. Guys, you know why my dangle frog is so successful and why poppers are so successful, especially on a pause? It's because that guy right there dangles back and it has feather in the bottom of the hook, like this. See this? So when this thing right here, just sit in the back like that and you twitch it and it actually dangles a little bit, just start it in, you know? So enough with those frogs, silly frogs that's, uh, you know, sitting horizontal. It's old school, man. Like. I know back in the day, everyone make fun of frogs that, you know, doesn't sit horizontal, but why? Why does it matter? In fact, having a dangle have better hook set for, uh, you know, frogs. So, just something. Hopefully that uh, the frog industry would change in America so that, uh, you know, you have different design of frogs. Like this year, I cast came out with so much frogs. 
they're all just about the same thing, repeating, just copying off each other brand. And like, you would think Molex working with a, a big, you know, uh, social media brand, but they came out with the same thing as everyone else, basically. It just has a one little thing in the end so you could put a blade on and it doesn't even come with a blade. Nice fish, you know, and they charge for like $11.99 for it. It's like terrible. Like Molex, you could do better than that. That's what you get for working with a you know amateur group. But uh, you know, that's what it is, man. That's what they chose to work with. All right, another pickerel into the box. Oh, yeah. All right, got him. Let's see how we unhook him. He only got one hook on his lip. Off he goes. Yeah. You saw that? Got him. Got him. Even the smallest guy wants the topper. All right. Get him nicely. All right. Let's see how this is hooked. Terrible. He wasn't really hooked. It, the hook was right into his gill, which is why I was like, uh-oh. I didn't want to get any blood out. But I got off very quick. I just tweezed it very nicely with the pliers. And off it goes. All right, so now we're facing the sun. I had my face mask on. Guys, so you guys need a face mask. Try gills. You guys can use my promo code. Get a little discount, especially during the holidays. The holiday season, there's a lot of sales. So stack my discount code on it. And you guys set for next season. All right, LY25. Let's go. I don't know when you guys are gonna watch this video. It's likely after Thanksgiving. So happy post Thanksgiving. And that was a nice bite. And uh, <laughs> this should get released in, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, by Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, happy new year. Who knows? But uh, I wanna say a few things. I wanna thank you guys for watching all my videos and you know, leave me some comments, suggestions, blah, blah, blah. It makes my videos a lot better. And also it helps me gauge your interest. So. Um, I love pickerels. I haven't really done much pickerel fishing this season. I've been focused on my favorite new toothy critter, which is snakeheads. And they're just perfect to catch during the summertime, you know? So yeah, if you guys want to see more pickerel fishing, you guys gotta let me know. Pickerels are like awesome fish to fish for in the winter time, as long as it's not frozen. As you see, top water is so much fun. You can catch them on top water in shallow places, especially on the sunny days. I was paddling through ice. I paddled around this whole cove here just to uh, break the ice. And then, uh, you know, I went to town, caught only like 34 fish, but it's, it's pretty cool to uh, fish for pickerels in the winter time, top water bait. So I am casting into the middle where I paddled through earlier. There's one right there behind me. Boom, got him. Oh, came off. But yeah, those, those lily pads are holding so much bait fish. I've, I've been seeing it when I paddle over it and um, it's just drawing those uh, pickerels in. I think what happened is uh, those, those small little fish are eat, feeding on whatever breaking off on these dying lily pads and remaining weeds and it's just perfect. Like if you guys are still fishing for uh, pickerels in New Jersey or you know a little southern state where it is not uh, what do you call that? Frozen yet? Dude, find your pickerel waters. Okay. Small little top water baits. Have so much fun. Heck, you can even use like zoom flukes. I love using zoom flukes. In fact, I may make a video using fluke style lures on BFS and, you know, pickerels. What do you guys say? Let me know in the comment below. There's pickerel to the left. I don't know, did I spook him or is he coming close to take a look at it? But he was at the left. All right, I may have exhausted this spot in the last few casts. So let's go back to the right. Wow, there's 
a small little helicopter. Oh, got a fish right there. Helicopter fishing. Rufflecopter. Helicopter. Maybe it got me on news channel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh, you go. All right. If you could slash off, that would be fine. But if not, I'll put you on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? All right, little guy. All right. Here he goes. Another one falling victim to the top water popper. Oh, yeah. I am so scared. Here it goes. Got him. All right, off he goes. So you guys, on a scale of one to 10, before you guys started watching my videos, right? How did you like pickerels? What do you guys think about pickerels? And now after you guys watch Jimbo catch so much pickerels in end of November, what do you guys think? Hmm? Let me know. It's very interesting that people don't like pickerels. And I think it start, all started from the, the bass fishing community, especially those who fish tournaments, right? And all those people who lose expensive lures to pickerels. But, uh, you know, it's part of the game. You know, it's just part of the game. Just, just gotta accept it. That's why Jimbo doesn't use all those insane JDM lures. I guess I can if you guys want me to. Call them slime darts and stuff like that. Yeah, they're a little slimy, but you guys have not seen snakehead slime. It's the slime that keep on sliming. This is what they need to use, man. Protect their skin. It's like, you guys need to put lotion in your skin. If not, you'll be so ashy. Look at Jimbo. But cons consistently ashy in the cold season because the wind keep blowing and cold, dry. You don't be called ashy Jimmy, do you? All right, Jimbo is gonna catch something right here. Win, 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 win. Oh, he missed it. Bam, got him. All right. Yeah, he T boned that one. Oh. Nice. Only one set of hooks got him. It's better than both sets. Wet my hand. Hey, death row. Oh no. Crap. Okay, got it. Dude, Jimbo was about to <laughs> face the wrath of his uh, bungee cord. All right. Two hooks hooked him in the outside lip. That's nice. I like hook him outside rather than inside. Jimbo's gonna exit this cove back to the main river. So hopefully there's a few more fish here because the wind is blowing this way and that way and all over the place. Heck, quite honest, with these stupid coves here, the wind is never the same direction. All right, good, good. The wind is blowing this way. And when I first came in here, that channel that connects this cove into the main river from the other episode, that is, I saw so much fish. So I am gonna at least take my time here and pop it a few times as I head towards the cove right there. Look at that, there's already something right behind me. You gonna take it or what? <laughs> oh, yo guys, that thing hit me right in my freaking glasses. You guys heard that smack? That is crazy. I have this treble hook. I mean, it could have hit me in my face, but if you guys don't wear sunglasses, this trouble hook could have destroyed your eye. No longer you be ice sight fishing, all right? Don't fish for eyes, guys. Wear your glasses. I need to use a little bit of force here, so hang on tight. Oh yeah, got through. Got through. Kind of go up the... Ch up the river again. I'm actually pretty excited. All right, so I'm back in the main channel. So hopefully with this popper here, I got to pop it right on the side. Get some big gnarly pickerels using the popper. Oh, 
There's a picker right there. Oh no, he's going underneath there. Oh, eight, eight, eight. I knew it. Bens usually hold one or two pickerels or any predator fish, you know. But it's not a big one, so hoping that the, the main river channel will have bigger ones. But this is definitely bigger than the ones uh, I was catching in that cove early, earlier, and he got foul hooked. So it's gonna be tough for me to grab him. See if I grab him without injuring myself. The worst nightmare any angler to have is a fish that flopped their hooks onto him, and both you and the fish get hooked at the same time. <laughs> that would hurt. Look at that. He's missed me. There goes the gun. <laughs> Got him. Got him. All right. So it looks like I could pile, pile through those, but I don't think I want to go any further. I'm pretty much like uh, in the middle of nowhere. And it um, gets a little scary and spooky, guys. Get a little scary and spooky, I'll be quite honest. Solo fishing here. Never know what happens. I have a buddy, uh, it's pretty sad. His, um, he went fish, uh, kayaking with his father on Father's Day. And uh, it was like early spring and on one of these bends, his father flipped and he got pulled underneath the trees, something like the, these, right? And because with the current and everything, he was held under there too long and he drowned. So uh, yeah, very sad. So uh, yeah, anyway guys, don't wanna freaking make a end of the video so sad. Today was a great day, you know? Uh, fishing, two freaking episode in one day, doing two top water lures. Heck, going back, I might even try another uh, lure just to you know see if i catch some more fish but man guys i thank you for watching i know i asked a lot of questions so hopefully you guys are uh you know answer some of those questions via the comments below but popper fishing is pretty fun but i think i prefer the stick bait what do you guys prefer stick bait or this popper here huh huh maybe uh, jimbo will go back out pickerel fishing very soon to get his red fin if you guys want to see a red fin in the channel let me know in the comments below thank you for watching peace out